There's no denying that plain colors can become a bit boring in UI design. So as designers, we turn to gradients to add some more flair, some more oomph to our designs. In this video, we'll cover the four ways you can use to create gradients in Figma. Let's jump straight in. So today we'll cover linear gradients, radial gradients, angular gradients, and diamond gradients. And by the way, if you haven't already subscribed or liked, I would highly appreciate it. Let's jump straight into linear gradients. So linear gradients are colors that align in a straight line. Let me give you a practical example here. I'll make a rectangle. I'll go to the fill option. I'll click this color, go from solid to linear. Here you can see how we get this line. And you can see how we have these boxes attached to the line. These boxes are the different color points of the linear gradient. I can switch it up by dragging this faded out color up and down. And I can switch it up by dragging this top color as well. I can even add more colors to my gradient by clicking here. I can remove them by clicking on them once and hitting the back button like that. I can change the angle of it by just dragging the handles down here. And of course, change the colors by going in here and change the opacity if I so want as well. So that's a linear gradient. Then we have radial gradients. So let's grab this one, drag it over here again. These are gradients where the colors originate from a single center point out towards the edges. So if we go in here, click here again, go to the dropdown and change from linear to radial. You can see how the red now is in the center and it goes towards the edges into the blue. So that's radial. If we go to the next one, which is angular, here the colors progress in a clockwise direction from a single point, 360 degrees. Once again, I go in here, click on radial and change it to angular. Same thing happening here. I can add more points to it if I so wish. I can go back and remove the points if I so wish. I can change the angle by grabbing this handle and even increase and decrease the size like this. So that's angular. Let's grab this one again and go over to diamond gradients. This is basically the same as radial gradients, but here we have a diamond shape instead of a rounded shape. So colors originate from a single center point out towards the edges. Same thing. Go in here, switch it up to diamond, and you can see that the shape is no longer a circle, so compared to the circular radial, but it is a square or a diamond. Now that you can handle gradients, if you want to step it up a notch, check out these videos. Now, until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon. Ciao.